Hello, Mig back here with McFreak for another video for Fear MC Gaming. We are doing a tutorial of our battleship world. You may have seen this world over on Choo Choo's Gaming, uh, his channel. He's got a subscriber spotlight that we did a video on this over there and uh, just showed a couple of things, but really more cinematic thing rather than a tutorial. This is really to show you how to run this machine that I've built. Um, McFreak, along with Kelly and a lot of others that I'll show you in the uh, credits room that we have, they built most of the outward design, like the boats and the pegs and the stars done by Amgod and my wife and also the sign up top. All that was done by other people in the redstone work, mainly by me. But ultimately, I'm here to show you how it works. So you're going to start off at a spawn point. That's going to take you on a rail to here. You're going to enter in. This is our boat selection room. McFreak, go ahead over to your side onto the boat selection room. This will show you all the different pieces that we actually have to put down. You have five pieces, just like the traditional boat or uh, board game. You've got your aircraft carrier, battleship, submarine, cruiser, and patrol boat. And these numbers that you see underneath are the associated number of cells that go along with that boat. So our aircraft carrier, that's the one that's lit up, that's the boat that we're having to put down right now, has five cells, so we have to expect to put five cells on the board. We have a submit button, a reset boat selection in case you just don't like the way you laid things out. Finalize boat selection, there's going to be a button there when we actually do that, but that breaks the game because you know, this kind of game you don't want to save it afterwards. Resetting it with would just have been way too bad on lag. Uh, this is our horizontal and vertical switch and all of our coordinates. Okay, so what we do is we pick either the top piece or the left cell, the top cell or the left cell of the boat, whether or not we're doing horizontal or vertical. So we're doing horizontal, so we're going to pick the leftmost cell, which let's make it, let's see here, we'll do this. I don't want to say them out loud. I don't want to give Mick Freak out all the info. So... And then what will happen is the glowstone is going to pop up showing you the piece that you actually selected. So it puts out five here because we are on the five cell piece. So it shows you, you have to wait for the glowstone to come up. That's kind of like it's loading phase. And then you actually submit the boat in. Now it takes it, clears out the glowstone from here, switches the turn up here to show you what's next and also puts the piece down as you see that they're coming up right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trick the system. Normally we would go through all five boats, but I don't want to force you all to have to watch putting down every boat and also watch us go through an entire game of Battleship. We're going to go ahead and skip through these. The finalize button doesn't work as you see that lamp up there is not on. Once that's on, we can actually finalize our boats. Let me get out a button here. And we'll put it on here. Go ahead and finalize your boat selection, McFreak. Alright. Now we'll go up the stairs. Up into our attack room. So this here is our set of coordinates for our attack. We have finalized our boat selection, so that has made it at this point that boats cannot be messed with. You can't move them, jerk them around in any way and it's ready to be actually put into attack. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the first move and I'm going to select one to show you what happens on this hit or miss board back here. So we're going to go ahead and pick A3. And we may or may not have gotten a freak. Let's see. And we submit that in. Now we wait. And A3 here in just a second is going to pop up showing us whether or not we got a hit or a miss. And it looks like we got a miss. All right. Now, what I want to show you is I'm going to go ahead and give McFreak a coordinate for him so that we can show you what happens when the opponent actually hits one of your ships. McFreak, go ahead and hit F3. And what's going to happen here in just a second is our cell, F3 over here, is going to drop down back into the water. And there is lag associated with this. McFreak, why are you sleeping? Sleepy. Sleepy. Oh. oh. You're actually going. Ah, see? There it goes. 
He tricked me out. I thought we were going to be sleeping there for a second. Let's actually go ahead and sleep, McFreak, just so that we can get the light of day. Tends that my recording device does not work well in Minecraft nighttime. Alright. So, as you see, my piece dropped. He got a hit over there and it showed him. Now, go ahead and give me a coordinate so I can show them what it looks like on my board. D is in dog. D. Is that G or D? See? Alright. Go, oh, girl. Alright. Girl. So we'll hit four. And G. Not having my head on makes it difficult for me. Alright. We'll submit this in. Here in just a second, our board will show us that we have a hit. Boom. All right. So that's a quick view of how boat selection and attack works for you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a look at the actual design of everything. Get a little more in depth than Choo Choo was able to get going into. So right off the bat, you can see the amount of redstone work that this had going to it. I'm going to go underneath here, show you guys all the bus lines that were associated with it. Got tons of redstone towers in here. Let's see here, we'll fly right into the middle. Tons of redstone through here, so you even get tangled up in it almost right off the bat. All right. Now, all redstone work was done by me. Definitely had some people help run some bus lines, things like that. But the design is my own, and uh, you say what you will about it once it becomes downloadable, but it, it was my own personal design, and had a few people come in and give me some some brainstorming help but ultimately all done here now the actual design like these ships things to that nature done by Kelly and McFreak they painstakingly worked on this and uh, definitely put out all these pegs here just like the old traditional board uh, very long and painstaking to do so but they got it done now we have some designs on the side these are done by my wife by am God good friend of ours that came in and help us out um, but Let's go ahead and get you guys into the actual credits room because that I thought was a really neat design. They spent some time in there uh, to be able to show off everybody that helped us out with this world. And we did it in the nether because we just wanted a nice open space to work with. I didn't even get to see this until it was complete. I was working on all the redstone out there and then came in there and I was just blown away. All these ships in here, all the different names across the side that have come in and help us put things together, either just running work around or actually consulting with us, kind of giving me some ideas with redstone. Uh, we got obviously McFreakazy and Fear Mig, uh, just awesome people. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. As I said before, with 200 subscribers, we are going to release this out for everybody else to be able to download, play a game, and play around. Uh, I'm going to post up a few videos here over the next few weeks with just rounds of us playing against each other. But thanks again for stopping by. See you guys next time.